Hi, this is David Clausen with English-Quickly.com, and thanks for being here with our live English lesson of the week from the best movies, music, books, infographics, and many other things to help us learn English more quickly. So I'm going to share my screen so that you can see what I am talking about. So let me click share screen and I will get that going. So I click that and I am broadcasting from the United States in the state right here of Colorado. So here's Denver and I'm right outside of Denver in a city called Golden. Let's see if it pops up here, right here in Golden, Colorado in the United States. So we're going to start off our weekly lesson with the best movies of the week. Now, last week I talked about The Hobbit which was a medieval fantasy with armies. Armies are like soldiers or war when they fight each other. But this week, we're going to talk about Into the Woods, which is a, uh, a magical fantasy. It made, uh, over the weekend, $18 million dollars. It's been in 2,538 theaters, and it's already made $90 million, $90 million. And if we take a look at the budget, the budget is how much it costs to make the money, to make the movie, excuse me. It was $50 million to make the movie. And it has already made 90 million. So it's what they call a profit. A profit. They've made some money. So the movie is uh, it's this musical fantasy. And it's based off or inspired by Grimm Brothers fairy tales. Now, a fairy tale... You may know this, uh, the fairy tale of Little Red Riding Hood. There's also the fairy tale of Cinderella. Let me pull that up here. So Cinderella is a fairy tale. You may know that one. There's Cinderella, very famous folk tale or fairy tale. Or maybe you've heard this Jack and the Beanstalk. So there's Jack and the Beanstalk. And so this movie is like that. The film is a fantasy genre crossover centered on a childless couple. So a man and woman, a woman cannot have a child. So they're a childless couple. And they have a curse placed on them by a vengeful witch. And if you're not sure what a witch is, let me pull that up here. So if I type in witch, that is a witch. And a witch, you know, in magical fantasy, a lot of times will put on a curse. So, you know, this may, you know, it's kind of like a curse, something bad. She puts on a curse, something uh, <laughs> you definitely do not want to have. And so this couple, they have this curse. Let me pull it up here. And ultimately, though, the characters are forced to rectify the consequences of their actions. So to rectify means they have to make 
better. So they have to make better on what they did. Now, this uh, is in many different languages, so you can learn some English from this. So I will put this link under the suggestion so you can go back and check it out. Let me put that in. You can just click on the link when I'm done with this video. And it's a great way to, you know, learn some extra English, you know, if you like movies and stuff. Now we're going to move on to the Hot 100. These are the best songs or the most popular songs in America. And in music, they repeat a lot or they the same songs end up on the Hot 100. And I've talked about all these songs in other videos, Uptown Funk, Blank Space, Take Me to Church, Thinking Out Loud, Lips Are Moving, All About That Bass, Shake It Off, I'm Not the Only One. So we're actually on number nine, Jealous, Jealous. And just to make sure, the definition of jealous, it's an adjective, I'll play it. It's feeling or showing envy of someone or their achievements and advantages. So he grew jealous of her success. Some synonyms are envious, covetous, desirous. So, you know, the most common is, is when another man likes a man's woman and stuff. So if I type that in, um, we'll see what comes up. Jealous. Jealous. You know, she is jealous of her. You know, there's jealousy there. You know, a jealous woman does better research than the FBI. <laughs> jealousy. So it's, uh, <laughs> that happens a lot with couples. So this singer or this song, Nick Jonas, the lyrics or the words of the song, I don't like the way he's looking at you. So he doesn't like the way this guy's looking. I'm starting to think you want him to. Am I crazy? Have I lost you? Even though I know you love me, I can't help it. I can't help it but being jealous, you know, he loves her so much. I turn my cheek music up and I'm puffing my chest. I'm getting ready to face you, can call me obsessed. So he's obsessed. It's not your fault that they hover. I mean no disrespect. It's my right to be hellish. I still get jealous, jealous. Now the reason is, because you're too sexy, beautiful. So she's a beautiful woman. So he gets jealous around other men. And everybody wants a taste. That's why, that's why I still get jealous. Because you're too sexy, beautiful. And everybody wants a taste. That's why, that's why I still get jealous. So let's do just a little sample don't want to do too much because YouTube gets angry. So let me go back here because you're too sexy, beautiful, and everybody wants a taste. So that's why, that's why I still get jealous because everybody wants her and likes her. I'll play just a couple, a little bit more. So I still get jealous. So I still get jealous. So I will put these uh, links in as well. You can come check them out. Um, and so you can listen to the video and also the lyrics at the same time. So that's also a fun way to learn some music. 
All right, now let's look at the best books of the week. So our best selling books. We've talked about this before, All the Light We Cannot See, which was with World War II, Gone Girl, and now we're going to do Big Little Lies by Leanna Moriarty. And you can see the book right here, Big Little Lies. So <laughs> if you're not sure what a lie is, it's uh, when you don't tell the truth. You don't tell the truth. And this kind of, I'll read this to you. This says the whole book right here. Big Little Lies is a brilliant take on ex-husbands and second wives, mothers and daughters, schoolyard scandal, and the dangerous little lives we tell ourselves to survive. So we lie to survive. So an ex-husband is, you know, if you've been divorced, you had a husband and second wife. So it's all these problems when you have divorce and kids. If you're not sure what divorce is, I'll type that in. It's when you, um, you're not married with anybody anymore. So a couple, they split up. They are divorced. You know, they are no longer together they are divorced and so you know you get a lot of problems you know with divorce and things like that so i'm gonna put that in into the description that you can check out and so you know that's a Good way also to learn some English. Now, Wiki Travel, it's a fun website. 99,763 pages. And last week I did this destination of the month and it'll scroll through. And I thought, here we have cuisine of the month, Italian food. Italian food is truly, excuse me, let me try to pause that. Italian food is truly one of the most diverse in the world. And in any region, any region or even city and village you go, there are different specialties. So there are different kinds of food, what they call specialties in food, specialties with Italian food. So if we take a look, here is some of the food. You know, you probably know this, uh, pizza margarita. That's pretty common. But you may not know this with Italian food. You know, a traditional Italian meal with beef with sauce and dark red wine. Because they have these different regions or areas of Italy that... Um, that have their own cuisine or their own food. And in Italy, lunch is the most important meal or part of the day. So they have a lot of big meals during lunch in Italy. So let's take a look at some of these. Risotto. So if we type that in, so I'm going to copy. Let's put that into Google images risotto and it's a rice so let me read that to you here so arboreal rice that has been sauteed and cooked in a shallow pan with stock so it you know it's rice with some meat poultry which is chicken seafood or vegetables and some cheeses. So risotto, let's take it this one, arancino, which is a deep fried ball of rice. So there is arancino. You can see that it looks good inside. These are peas. And here's this 
rice on the outside and deep fried, they call that. This is deep fried. Let's take a look at polenta, which is yellow cornmeal, yellow grits that has been cooked with stock. So polenta. Here's this cornmeal that you can see that's cooked. Gelato. And that is ice cream. You know, we love ice cream, or most people do. Gelato. Italian ice cream. And tiramisu. It's an Italian cake made with coffee, mascarpone, and Lady figure sometimes rum, which is alcohol, with cocoa powder on type. Here it's right here. I saw it. Tiramisu. Doesn't that look gourmet? That looks gay. great. Tiramisu. Um, a great dessert with Italian eating. So I will put that below as well. You can check that out to learn some English from that. And moving on from there, we have our, our infographic. And a lot of women like this, 10 amazing hair facts. So facts about hair. So if we take a look, style, on average, a woman changes her hairstyle 104 times in her lifetime, 104 times. In surveys, just wanting a change was the most common reason. So women 104 times change their hair. Length is how long it is. The record for the longest hair goes to a woman in China with 18 foot locks. 18 foot <laughs> is the length of hair. Money, this guy right here um, had in his hair insured for 100000 dollars <laughs> natural color red hair is only found in about one percent of the world so one percent of the world has red hair the strength or how strong a single human hair can support about three and a half ounces or 100 grams in weight a guy from india pulled a 10 ton truck over 50 yards with this so 10 tons he pulled with one hair. That's how strong it is. The extensions, the longest hair extension were applied in Serbia and about a half a mile long. <laughs> so that's very, very long, these extensions. Image, in surveys, 96% of women agree that their sense of beauty and positive self-image is connected to hair. So 96% of women get their image from their hair growth human hair grows just over a half inch per month and this can increase by leading a healthy lifestyle and getting plenty of sunlight so half an inch per month of growth gender which is males and females male and female hair is impossible to tell apart unless genetic tests are used so men and women have the same hair you know 11 percent of american men admit to coloring their hair 75 percent of women and hairdressing the most expensive haircut was by stuart phillips in a salon in covent garden london an italian client sixteen thousand dollars for a haircut sixteen thousand dollars so that's our infographic of the week. Check that out if you're into hair. Take a look at that. Fun way to learn English if you love hair and 96% of women do. And I wonder if this guy worries about his hair. A day's work. This is our photograph of the week from National Geographic. And he is in northern Iran. So if I Type in, uh, I'll just type in uh, Iran. No. 
So here is northern Iran, probably either here or up here. A shepherd, so a shepherd deals with sheep. A shepherd carries heavy luggage on a snowy mountain in northern Iran. According to your shot member, Haman Nazari, shepherds must walk 12 miles. It's probably about 18 kilometers a day when moving their flocks of sheep from the high mountains to the valley. So sheep, that's what a um, shepherd does. This is a sheep. So we have a sheep there, a sheep. And that's what a shepherd does in northern Iran, 12 miles. So that's a cool photograph from National Geographic. And to finish us off here, our learner's word of the day, apathy, apathy, to be apathetic. Apathy. Apathy. And that's not a good thing. It's the feeling of not having much emotion or interest. You don't care about much. So people have shown surprising apathy toward these important social problems. Many commentators are surprised by the apathy of the country's voters. Voter apathy, a culture of apathy. So, you know, these students right here are apathetic. They could care less. So I'll put that link in. And I'm going to hit save. So in just a couple hours, these will come up and um, you can take a look at it and stuff. So we have about two people watching. So I'm going to stop here so okay so thank you so much for watching um i have been doing these live broadcasts for about uh four months four or five months and they are i thought more people would like them um they would call in and talk so this is going to be my last live hangout I'm going to do many other videos for the channel to help you learn English. I think people like short, quick videos. These live broadcasts, uh, they're not as helpful as I thought. So in the future on my channel, I'm going to have you know shorter, quicker videos to help you out with the uh, other English things. So um, that's our live broadcast for this week, our last one. So uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, I hope uh, you enjoy my other videos that I make in the future. So have a great day and happy English learning. Take care. Bye-bye.